All right, howdy y'all. Welcome back to uh, more Unmetal. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. This game has consistently given me the giggles every time I play it. <laughs> I just think it's really well done. We're gonna hop back into it. You didn't hear nothing. That was a, a sort of a, a bit of a mistake. Come here, you. <laughs> okay. What's up in here? Oh, just boxes that break. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, a med kit. Still there? Affirmative. Where are you? I'm still in the compound. What? Weren't you escaping in a truck? 
truck back up. What the hell are you doing back there? I snuck onto a truck, but it went backwards and returned to the compound. Oh, damn it, Fox. Colonel, I know about another truck that's going to leave in a while. I'll call you later. Over and out. Fire Emblem? No, I played Fire Emblem yesterday. Now we're doing uh, Unmetal again. <laughs> Fine. You throw away my children in rebellion, you monster. You won't change On the that fact base, that this isn't Fire Emblem. Those sergeants were assholes. They forced their platoons to run all around the complex. I had to be careful not to be seen. Yeah, I don't want these guys to see me. That's bad. Just pretend that it's Fire Emblem. Face escaping prisoner. I just neutralized a soldier, but I couldn't leave him in sight. Those platoons could pass by, see him, and raise the alarm. Why <laughs> <laughs> I think about so that? So I made sure okay. to carry the soldiers I neutralized. So that soldier had weapon triangle advantage over me, having a gun. But I managed to overcome that and defeat him anyways. Knocked out guards inside building. need to upgrade your class, right? Oh, now we're actually working with a real, like, stealth timer. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to dump the bodies in here then. started an impromptu infirmary ward. Oh, that doctor is still going to be so pissed at me that I keep uh, injuring people and leaving them. One guard over there. Run very slightly faster than them. <laughs> right? I have six more uses of my current weapon. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Oh. Just taking a piss with an unconscious man in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> You guys aren't brave enough to come into the bathroom. I fucking dare you. There's an unconscious man on here. He he watched me take a whiz. Actually, he couldn't. He doesn't know. There, now it looks like he just had a really bad toilet accident. All those guys, uh, I can't see. <laughs> are you guys gonna actually, like, leave, or are all of you just kind of stationed out there now? Because that's bad for me. <laughs> oh, fucking come on. <laughs> So now there's basically a whole new host of guards. That do their rounds. Okay. Bullet slot. Can hold more bullets now. I don't need that med kit currently. <laughs> No, 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 he's fine, he's fine, 
He just went to sleep but missed the bunk a little bit. It's fine. You're right, I need to switch to a weapon with a uh, slightly higher durability, like a gun. Actually, no, because I don't want to accidentally shoot or kill anybody. see anything stay away from me <laughs> he's fine he just needs a nap <laughs> right there there you go more depleted uranium balls or bullet shot slots escaping prisoner out fuck Oh, I got both of them. Time for you soldiers to sleep. Get in your bunks. collecting soldiers who who are trying to avoid curfew they should be sleeping come on get in there yeah there we go it's bedtime for everybody jacker here ghost you copy who the fuck are you huh who are you where's ghost i don't know who that is i think you got the wrong channel oops Dugan must have been tampering with the communicator Damn geeks. Over and out. Okay. Eye patch and all, alright. I don't know of any goddamn ghosts. Doesn't sound like something I could see QC. Oh yeah, here they come again. Alright, gotta wait for uh for these guys to go by. Oh god, they all saw me get inside! Oh fuck. Use a bow. <laughs> I've got this depleted uranium ball slingshot. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Oh, oh no, the we're alarm still. The was raised. The platoons must have found one of the guards I knocked Shit. out. I had to cover we're my tracks edge. better. I don't want to use a bow, because then I have no defense against one range on enemy phase. But they're all ranged too, so maybe that would be better. The killing edge will just form a, form a diamond around me and keep shooting at me. Uh, guess I'll use a bedpan. <laughs> this is not good, man. They're all still just outside. <laughs> okay, I guess here we go. You'll never catch me.
Oh god, it quick saved with all of those guards still out there. Okay. I really fucking foobarred this shit. So, I do have a way out of this. Uh, it's gonna use the last of this thing, though. No, not that. I'm just gonna let him kill me again. Uh, I have a better idea. Alright, yeah, do it, do it, do it to me, go ahead. Whatever. stuck in a fucking room with 18 guards wandering outside. They won't fucking leave. I really fucking screwed the pooch on this one. Oh, we collected at the same time? Jesse, also, welcome in, chat. Copy. I hear you. I was thinking about those big concrete blocks you saw. This place is full of concrete buildings. Maybe they're building something. Something new, something that requires a lot of concrete. And that's why there's so many guards. Why are they transporting concrete instead of making it here? Maybe someone sold them something in parts and they're just bringing them here. Hmm, could be. But what? If I find anything out, I'll let you know. Thanks, man. Over and out. Hey, can any of you Jesse, help me out of this fucking over. situation? The doctor doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Oh, I am in such bad shape. It's so bad. Uh, oh, that's gr fucking gross. They're leaving. Okay. Good. So we waited long enough. They all dispersed. I just need to wait for the big group to come by again, I think. Some of them seem to be coming back. That's not cool. Never mind, they're fucking all back. 
<laughs> what did I fucking do? Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Dude, I'm shit at stealth. <laughs> Always have been. Returning to my position. The area is clear. <laughs> As I walked in, I ran into a soul. <laughs> the hell? The I don't know. He confused me with one of his buddies. Hey, Mike. You want a drink? Uh, no, thank you. I don't drink when I escape. Hold on. You're not Mike. Oh, of course I am. No, I'm Fox. Jesse Fox. You're Oh yeah, that's smart. A prisoner? I would Good thinking, Chess. Too, if I could. Why? To see my daughter. It turns out that he had a little daughter who he hadn't seen in three years. Every year he requests leave to go see her. And every year his drill sergeant rejects it. Poor man. So, in a week, the daughter was turning six, and Mike Hopefully. requested leave again. And yet, again, the drill sergeant rejected it. Oh, that's fucked. Which was why he was drowning his sorrows. Until he knocked himself out. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Truthfully, though, I'm still in a pretty bad situation. Uh, and I'm out of I'm out of Sonic rings. I can't do that again. Pee in a bedpan again, though. <laughs> but the area is clear. I uh, kind of. Everybody's doing weird things outside. The, oh, the guard said so. Let's, uh, let's clean up my mess here. There is a proper save room, like one room south.
I believe. Okay. So now that I've got this set up, I'm gonna use my last porta potty basically. And I'm gonna see if I can sneak my way down. saw anything. It's all fine. <laughs> I will knock out every fucking one of these mics. I will make a giant pile of mics if I have to. <laughs> I mean, legitimately, that's a school of thought I've gone with for a pretty long time whenever I play stealth games. Can't nobody see you if there's nobody around. She isn't stealthy. Come on, stand up. Oh shit, they all stood up at the same time. Crap. Okay, maybe I give up on that save room. I think there's literally next to no way I'm gonna fucking make it down there. Yeah, there's no way I can make it, and then I fucking went for it anyways, because I'm just dumb like that. Oh, fucking hell. a save room right over there. Fuck! <laughs> oh, hey! Saving in an actual save room actually resets all the guards and their movements. Oh, that actually did work. That did actually work out in my favor. He was urinating. He was trying Please to save don't his tell game. Me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the 
hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before, not after peeing. Oh, sir, yes, sir. Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? <laughs> sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! <laughs> Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes, sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? <laughs> uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Here, you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Oh, Understood? Oh, my God. Sir, yes, sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me. Oh, blue. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? Uh. Ah, my uniform was stolen. They left me this sneaking it's been suit. Stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? Mike. Fucking what? Mike. Mike, sir. Damn, son of a bitch. That fucking Which bastard, one? Mike. I need to narrow it down, scumbag. <laughs> He's tall, ripped, and from Texas. Just like me, sir. Fuck. You're from Texas? Only two things come from Texas. Charcoal and assholes. Which one are you, boy? I don't see any ash smears, but I definitely see a shit stain. But, sir. Texas Exports Propane Accessor. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> shit smear! I'm not a shit. Yes, you are. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Hold on, Mr. Fox. Didn't you say it was the drill sergeant who ended up crying like a baby? You're contradicting yourself. It was you. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. Oh, what the fuck? I got murdered in a cutscene because I didn't tell the story right. I ran into a guard as I went in. Oh, okay. A war of words it is, the then. Fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? It was stolen. It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? Did I get another option after Mike lost some? Oh, I don't think I did. We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. Arm? What? In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Please, <laughs> he's from Texas, you're too. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and assholes. I don't see any propane accessories. <laughs> and I know you're full of shit. Me full of shit? What, you little? Of course you are. Look at your brown eyes. <laughs> what? My eyes are blue. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eye. No. <laughs> no. I'm not. To avoid confusion in the record, do we have blue or brown eyes, Mr. Fox? <laughs> Both. But now he had black eyes. On uh, second thought, I'll leave this out of the report. Oh, fuck. Proceed. Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. Boss defeated. <laughs> Boss defeated. <laughs> oh, I mean, freeze, or I'll shoot. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier! Did I tell it's you? It's an intense boss fight. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? 
Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Ooh. Sir, yes, sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no, sir. Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. That dude never washed his hands at all. I left that scumbag on the floor. Did he have anything on him? Nope. Uh, I couldn't stamp the form until I found an ink pad or a tampon. Mm. Steal his clothes so he can think Mike did it. I was trying to, he wouldn't let me. <laughs> There's one more room I didn't get into. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Get in, get in, get in, get in! Inside that barrack, there were some guards. I didn't see them because they were sitting behind some bunk beds. Well, that wouldn't stop you from being able to see. Or running around the compound, or worse. But thanks to my extraordinary hearing acuity, I could hear their conversation. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons well, with rusty D &D. axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bolt and shoot. Hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at So a I never actually played D&D. But I played D&D miniatures once with uh someone just walked in. This lab and must be the drill sergeant. Quick, hide yourselves. <laughs> they had hidden cardboard boxes with this lab and a couple other people. And uh So he had a Shit, they killed me. It's D and D miniatures. It's basically like D and D, but with uh, with like little miniatures, and like you can set up your own little map and everything. That way. I think it mostly focuses on the dungeon aspect of it and not like proper D&D &D where you go and do a lot of people. Some people use miniatures, some don't. Yeah, we didn't really know what we were doing. But anyways, uh, this lab had a sheet of paper with the supposed contents of like treasure chests and stuff on it. I swear to God, though, that the only thing he... We opened, like, four or five different treasure chests. Hey, escaping prisoner. Send back up. Me, fuck me. God damn it. I swear to God that, like, every time we opened a chest 
And you know what? It doesn't. No, there's got to be something in that box in the corner. Man. Yeah, just get me. Fuck. Ah! But I swear, every time we opened a treasure chest, he'd have us roll a d20. He'd look at his uh, little paper sheet as if there were more things written on it than just a skeleton popped out for every number. And then he'd look at us and be like, oh, a skeleton popped out. Swear to you, 100%, I'm almost certain that's all that was written on that sheet of paper. You run your campaigns more around puzzles than anything else. I forget what the boss we were supposed to fight was. But it was something with like four arms and got like two turns. Or something like that. And it was just destroying us. Inside that barrack, there was... And we're like, fuck, man. This is... How about a starter boss? And he's like, this is, this is a starter boss. <laughs> this thing is killing us. game that takes you 10 minutes to travel for a month but 10 minute long battle takes two hours <laughs> okay there's got to be something in here uh i did all this for a bullet slot oh, i was hoping to get the stamp thing that i needed Try to limit the amount of battles you put in your campaign uh right on as a way to make the battles go faster. That sounds good. Before peeing, I put all of the knocked out guards inside. I didn't want them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a deposit. Oh, so I literally can't pee if there are knocked out guards that are just sitting on the ground. Well then, I'm gonna have to make this quick. I think I just leveled up. Oh yeah! Your max HP is increased by 50%. Yeah, give me more health. I don't really shoot anybody with guns. As I entered one of the barracks, I saw that it was different from the others. <laughs> it had a fucking First urinal off, in it. It had its own urinal. Moreover, it had an office desk. However, I notably, it, drill it does not have a sink. I had plenty of time. Which means nobody. I'm sure he was still indisposed in the bathroom. Which means nobody in this fucking room ever washes their hands. The desk had stacks. Of oh hey! Thanks for the raid, crow. Cheese. <laughs> Water that comes out of the urinal is clean. Uh, <laughs> thanks for shouting them out, chats. Welcome in, guys. He came here to steal all the shinies. We are playing Unmetal, a fucking wacky ass, like, Metal Gear parody game. Did I actually get anything off the desk? No, I didn't. Before peeing, I put all of the hey, knockout guards inside. Frank and sweet. I have I asthma didn't want 69. Them to be discovered and have the alarm sounded while I was making a deposit. Shoot. We've forgotten the cro <laughs> the crack, Robin. <laughs> I've only ever seen one uh, Wallace and Gromit short, 
And it was the the one where he made the pants that uh, walk all by themselves. Oh, I broke the bed. Must have been forgot to grab one challenge medal in the first chapter. <laughs> the wrong trousers, yeah. Oh, what? Who saw me? Who could have possibly seen me do that? Guess want to come check things out? Come on. I dare you! Base, area is clear. <laughs> Returning to my position. What was that? Oh, there's no way I'm gonna get all these guys <laughs> inside before the fucking runners come back. Okay, you know what? New plan though. No, pick them up. If I can just get them out of the way. Ugh. Ha. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> oh. That was close. Too fucking close, man. Okay. What do we got in here? Whoop, that's a coin. Give me grenades! <laughs> this is how you require grenades from a cabinet. You punch a cabinet full of volatile explosives. That's how you get it. <laughs> I got fucking grenades now? Alright on. Does Kojima know about this? I don't know. <sighs> I would almost have to assume that he'd be at least marginally aware of uh like any kind of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid spoofs and the like. He's a pretty good sport though. I think he'd probably enjoy this, honestly. He likes referencing popular media and stuff. So I feel like, you know, his games are pretty popular media, so... Would he really be so angry that people are referencing his stuff? Uh, oh, I can save again. Okay. Good. It wasn't letting me do it for a bit. Because there were still unconscious bodies that were just laying around. Do I go behind the fence here? Oh, I do. You're a fox, right? I knew we were going to pass uh -oh. it here sooner or later. I'm Machine Gun Mike. Machine Gun Mike, you Press son of a bitch. Me, or are you going to run away like a coward? Run away? I don't run from dead men. Then prepare to die. Ready to get fucking blown away, machine gun. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Hide as much as you want. Those sandbags won't last. You got me. Okay. I see how this is gonna work. That's fine. 
Ah, uh, getcha. Also, I just realized I haven't been checking for, like, uh, breakable walls in this chapter. I knew you were going to pass through here sooner or later. Yeah, 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 let's do it, machine gun Mike. Got him. You destroyed my machine gun. Damn you, Fox. Boss defeated. The confidence I gained from killing a boss stopped my blood loss. Fuck yeah. Found secrets in chapter one. I didn't know what to look for as far as secrets were back in chapter one. So I didn't start finding secrets until like chapter two or three. I need to heal. I arrived at the northern parking lot. There were trucks and containers all over the place. Yeah, I just destroyed I his to gun. Hide in the right truck. Serial number 233980. But machine gun Mike could be waiting for me, seeking revenge. Possibly. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, folks. Try tossing your puny grenades now. Splash Mike? Yeah, because I'm going to splash your entrails all over the place. <laughs> I underwent a name change in five fucking seconds. Rockets. Maybe another rocket. It was a sturdy tank. Rockets barely scratched the paint. But it was doing the job. But why didn't you attack it from behind? It's the weak point of many models. Son of a bitch! I was testing its entire surface on it. <laughs> I concluded that every side was uh, strong. I love how this really game calls me out on not being smart like that. Like when I fucking chloroformed myself. Ow! Fuck. I will get the medal. Hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Damn you, Splash Mike. Fucking eat that, you son of a bitch. Bob defeated. <laughs> After dealing with the tank, I found the truck and hid Thanks. inside. The driver showed up a few minutes later and unknowingly aided my escape. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And the military didn't find it weird that everything in the northern parking lot was destroyed? Who knows? Maybe it's a regular occurrence. But the truck driver must have seen all that destruction. Well, you know how military grunts are. They only think when ordered to. 
They're like, ah, oh, Splash Mike. That psychopath blowing up half the parking lot again. Or Machine Gun Mike. So, in the end, you escaped, hidden on that truck? Yep. What about the shit you told me about not escaping in a truck to prevent pollution? Because the first time, it would have been me behind the wheel. <laughs> this time, the truck was going to leave, with or without me. Which means the pollution wasn't my fault. <laughs> How convenient. How green of you, Mr. Fox. Fox, do you copy? Hey, it's the concrete paparazzi. <laughs> Concrete paparazzi. Ha, such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better also, I couldn't figure out what to do about, about that stamp, so... Concrete blocks. By the way... I guess that right? drunk soldier's I've never getting to go see his daughter for her, Robert, for her birthday. As big as you mentioned. Ah, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. The truck stopped at last. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Maybe Looked like the truck was carrying <laughs> packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Who are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are canceled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. And we won't ship anything else until there's a new order. Hold on. You said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. Colonel Harris, are you there? <laughs> Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you all right? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar out of They're port. bringing in nukes. They said something about strapping them to a big mechanical not dinosaur. Fast, it's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. Extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, either a country hid the fact or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention a big lab and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. Okay. Close the door. And the driver didn't see anything? More grenades. It scares me a little bit that it's loading me up on grenades like that. Let me out! I don't want to be in here anymore. warehouse and nobody seems to be home. Hey Leonard, look! It's the prisoner! Are you Leonard, guys not, not named much. Mike? These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. 
Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit? No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To our control, weapon is our intellect. We'll tell them we saw <laughs> the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. You'll never because catch us. You're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on. Let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. I'll give you some snotty you handkerchiefs. But any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them. You guys and don't with understand. All the noise in the hangar, I destroy everything I fucking touch. Attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers and heal them in case they got injured. Oh no, we're good. Depends on what trading cards. I only have Digimon trading cards. Oh. Well then, I guess we can't be friends. <laughs> I could use a grenade, but I think a grenade might. Hey guys, uh, ah, you know what, fuck it. Uh oh. So yeah, I'm gonna fail this the first time because I didn't think about it. Oh god. Whoops. Okay. I wanted to do this the easy way, but you fucking Leonards had to go and pull out your goddamn radial saws. Shit like that. Eat that. a button to uh to roll there it is why okay didn't expect that i i really didn't Stabilize these fucking clowns. Okay. They're all good. <laughs> They're all alive. Fucking idiots. No, are you kidding me? <laughs> are still doing this. Oh, whoop. Okay. Well, that's fine anyways. I got gotcha. you. Crying, crying out loud. Son, do you copy? Copy, <laughs> Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. 
And maybe it'll just become a fucking death trap. I mean, who knows? It's a I tough chair. I like it. What we have here. Found files. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first, but this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. Okay. It wasn't wise to use weapons there. Yeah, probably not. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine, the K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Oh, shit. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. Hmm. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates, coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. This game's getting a but little bit more serious. I understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. So I guess we're Before not... leaving the submarine, I decided to report to Harris about the documents. Oh, I thought I already did that. Did you find found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, mission, deep rescue, successfully completed. Return date, fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course, it's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. It would have been funny if he was like, damn, the Consomolets. You know about it? No, I've never heard of it. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... You, you read the logs and you know that they stole nukes off of it. What was the sub armed with? Well, as far as I know, you read the file! <laughs> there it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kind of donated by the Soviet Union in a game of finders keepers. I guess this you game is just assuming that I wouldn't read the file in by sea myself. And take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation. Which means <laughs> they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun. Did you smoke something, Colonel? <laughs> Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation. I can't help it, Colonel. Dying, <laughs> an idiot is just what I do. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, We're Colonel? putting this whole fucking mystery together. Footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The, the Cavalier? You he misread Fox. that. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. And then I pissed on the ladder. Because I just saved my game, and that's how we save our game in this. Robert?
still there. Yep. Fox, looks like you're gonna transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course they're not. gonna put him in uh I mean, the they're gonna put him in a harrier radiation. so he could have radiation. an alliterative boss Please name tell me they're not nukes it's me harrier harris the sunken soviet submarine Shit. i'm here That's to put you down so son secrecy and surveillance cheer up robert your capture isn't for something trivial anymore it's for a nuclear arms race <laughs> fuck 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 this news is the bomb <laughs> That's yeah, fuck a god damn it to say it Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. I back up the letter I pissed on, and, uh... Oh, I just pissed all over the ground. <laughs> the urinals are how we save our game, so I can only assume that every time we save... Anywhere else, it's just him pissing somewhere. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking How's Elden Ring been going? It's been going all right. Enemy lines. <laughs> it wouldn't be unreasonable. I have Look, some funny stories I don't about it. My principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Uh, now, why did you like, get rid of We've been getting invaded by a lot of people with because very interesting names. Have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. <laughs> I didn't want to be and a hoarder. Nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't <laughs> need. <laughs> been invaded by people named like uh, Geralt of Rivia, who was a huge me? fucking asshole. You get that stupid who idea? threw a vial of Scarlet Rot at us right before we went in to fight Godric. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. Got How invaded by uh, Relax, Sergeant. It's Van Halen. What Mr. Fox is trying to do. Uh, Master Roshi. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Uh, he man. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults, hoping I attack Just him a bunch and of silly provide names. an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Also, got Look, invaded by I'm this one guy twice. Assholes like you. Fuck. That was just fucking me, officer. hilarious. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> I'm, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Threw away stuff that I guess I'm never going to use again? I threw away the glass eye? No! Got a new key. Uh, got invaded by this guy named Zozo, like, twice. The first time is when we were going up to Raya Lucaria the first time. And, uh, I don't attack invaders right off the bat, because sometimes they do goofy shit or they're just chill. I've had a person invade me, run up, just drop an item on the ground, and then leave. So we're both throwing away useless things. Fuck you. <laughs> What the hell's this key for? Hmm. Was the key for the sub? But anyways, uh, this guy spawned in, and he was like intentionally over encumbered, <clears throat> and he was wearing like one of those kind of uh, like the masks of the weird little cartwheeled fishmen that are all over. Uh, the sunken village in front of Raya Lucaria. And I was just like... After putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. Okay, I hang on a second. Sub I actually want to tell this story. Uh, I didn't have a problem with him. He was just chilling, hanging out. But Mikey... Mikey was like, I don't trust him. I'm like, he's over-encumbered. He can't... He literally can't do anything to us, Mikey. 
He's just hanging out. And he followed us all the way from the base of the village all the way to up to the front gates of Raya Lucaria, where we didn't have the key yet, so we couldn't get in. So I get the map item off of the dead guy in front of the gate. And I'm like, okay, and I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to cross-reference with the map to try to figure out where to go. And Mike's just standing around, hanging out. We had both dropped our guard around this guy about this time. So the guy, he walks up to Mikey. Now, Mikey's like like my cooperator, summoned into my world. So any invader should be targeting me, not him. But me and that guy were just chill for some reason. But he walked over to Mikey, and he drank from his flask of physic or whatever. And he had the combination that turned him into a bomb. I only saw it like out of the corner of my eye as I was messing around with my inventory. Of just him gulping this down and then, like, basically rubbing himself up against Mikey until he exploded. And almost killed Mike. And I was like, okay, yeah, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> and so we murdered him. And a day later, when we were just somewhere in Kalid, uh, he we get invaded. And it's the same fucking dude again. This time he's not over encumbered or anything like that. He's actually dressed rather properly, uh, like he's looking for a fight. So I just like I square up with him a little bit, trying to see what his intentions are. And I get the feeling that yeah, he wants to fight. So we swing at each other a little bit, and then he just turns away from me and goes straight for Mikey again. And Mikey starts fighting him. And then the dude runs and aggro's a bunch of dudes in the area that all just start attacking Mikey, and he just hops up onto the fucking onto this root that's popping out of the ground. And again, he doesn't have, seem to have an issue with me. He just wants Mike dead for some reason. And I like honestly, his goofy fucking antics make me so happy that I almost kind of don't want to do anything about it. So I hopped up onto the root right next to him, and we both just uh, stood there next to each other, watching Mikey struggle against these fucking, uh, against these enemies, just hanging out, very like uh, non-aggressively. And then I'm like, "All right, fine," and I hop down and I help Mike clear out the uh, the enemies and stuff. And the Zozo guy hops down. And then him and Mike duel it out while I'm finishing clearing out the enemies that had been attacking Mike. And he kills Mike. And Mike's like, you better fucking kill him to get revenge for me. And I'm like, he's, he, I don't have a problem with him, though. He's not. He's, me and him are cool. He's like, you better fucking avenge me. And I'm like, ah, ah man, I really I don't want to fight this guy. I, I like him too much. He's like, I fucking hate this guy. All right, fine. I'll fucking, I'll fucking avenge you, whatever. So then me and him have a fight and I actually managed to come out uh, victorious in the end. There was one point, though, where I saw him start to chug his physic flask again. I knew exactly what he was doing, so I fucking booked it away from him and waited for him to explode himself. I normally play like heavy tanky defense builds, but ever since I discovered uh, the claw weapons in Godric's castle, I've become a fucking I've become a like a bleed build. I'm no longer like worthless in PvP fights anymore. I actually feel like I can do things now. So I've been going like claw build, <laughs> basically bleed. I've been following the meta. The claws one. Yeah, it is. But anyways, yeah. That was probably the goofiest shit that's happened to me so far in that game. Submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside <laughs> was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. <laughs> well, of course. It's an American product. 
What did you expect? Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? <laughs> Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. <clears throat> oh. I see. Oh. Uh, 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 okay. So this is very momentum based. Uh, no. Like, it will naturally sink if you don't press anything, like, up at all. But if it's sinking fast, you have to, like, press up a good bit in order to make it stop. No, 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 no. Okay. Interesting. I think I got it, though. Yeah. Did it without taking a fucking scratch. <laughs> what was down? I'm not sure I can go down. There were mines in the way, and they were in a uh, close enough capacity. I don't think I can get past them unless I can blow them up. But maybe I don't have a choice? Because there doesn't seem to be any other way. Maybe. Oh, okay, there we go. How many, how many can I get? How many will you, 50, okay. There we go. That's what I needed. But yeah, Elden Ring's been a pretty good time so far. Playing a weird dex build based on bleed and stuff has been an interesting change from how I normally do things. You enjoyed it, but you haven't fully explored it. When all strength. I get that. You're in New Game Plus now? Right on. Yeah, we've killed uh, Godric and Renala so far, as far as the major bosses are concerned. And then we've wandered around a lot and uh, killed a bunch of the smaller, like, mini bosses and such. Ow, whoops. Okay. That's what I needed. that way. to feel lonely locked in that submarine oh, underwater. here comes a boss fight nah i had some company 
versus the huge eel. The huge eel. Ooh. <laughs> Unagi blast. Oh, okay, I have to mash, like, everything. You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine. No, his name is Hoogiel. That Hugheel. Mario 64 sucks. I like Mario 64. <laughs> I don't know why people are so like against Mario 64 these days. N64 sucks. <laughs> I just aged badly. Okay, well, okay, so the thing about the N64 is that, yeah, there's a lot of... The graphic style... For the most part, the graphic style doesn't age well, but there are certain games that utilized it well enough that they hold up, I think, honestly. I think Mario 64 is one of them. I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. Oh, it's all moody and stuff. The storm made me piss myself. Nothing interesting. Actually, <laughs> sucks. The game library sucks. The graphics suck. Hey, now. Nothing interesting. The control. Colonel, I'm rich. Copy? Colonel, shit, he must have been taken. The controller only sucks Rob, if you're not one of those you, people who can just kind of you. conform to whatever controller's in their hands. I've got ten million dollars. Under the rain and the biting cold, the colonel's fate nodded my mind. According to Robert, they were moving him. Was it a routine inspection? Would he be returned to his cell? And yeah. Would they find the radio? The very blocky he polygonal old, graphics from that era. Man, but I feared for his life. I Until haven't the radio aged chimed in, all that well. It was channel one. But. Like. Colonel. And you what can happened? see it on a lot of, like, okay? PS1 and, I'm like, fine. N64 Mr. throwback Fox, stuff thank nowadays. You for asking, but my rank is general, not colonel. Wait, you're general is that X? With so, the right Mr. kind Fox, of you heard? You've artistic direction, I've been dying to those graphics still hold up you. just fine. So I took this hack job of a radio to call you before your inevitable capture. Where's the colonel? Don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Say hello, Colonel. Fox, run away! Don't listen to this bastard. Get your hands off me, you fucking moron. Did I ever play through I've SMT1? One? Such no. Things. I joined him. I played a bit of SMT1. You know too much. Sooner or later, you will make a mistake. Game one graphics hold up in 64 fail. graphics, don't? We'll see about that. Again, General. really, it depends on the game, I think. There are 64 games that still look fucking great to this day. Ow. Nothing useful. Squeeze 
upgrades it into 64 megabytes. I found another $10 million. Huh? Oh, I get it. Nothing interesting. Um, useless stuff. I think a part of it was just uh, not having like uh, cutscenes and stuff in it made a bit of a difference. What the hell's in here? Oh. Oh, hey. It actually had everything? Really? Oh, shit. Huh. Weird. Then, yeah. I don't know. Fucking magicians, then, if that's how they did it. There's an amazing video on it. Interesting. They were wizards, Harry. <laughs> Can I blow up? No. Oh, wait, I didn't save. You should probably do that. I don't like looking at myself. Nothing interesting. But yeah, there were useless stuff. There were plenty of good 64 games that I would still go back to this useless day stuff. that I don't think look bad. I get what you mean, Jay. Thorman. <laughs> right. Because Thorman was basically supposed to be kind of like uh, President Truman riding on a horse and stuff. More 10 million. <laughs> I've got 30 million dollars. Right, and he wanted to like nuke Japan. I'm aware of like SMT1 story. I just never played all the way through it. Nothing interesting. So apparently that makes a lot of noise when I do that. I'm not even gonna lie, that is pretty fucking magic that they were able to put the whole of Resident Evil 2 on a fucking N64 cartridge without, like, losing anything in it. Nothing interesting. Useless stuff. What do you want to bet that we're gonna get to a point where they're like holding the colonel hostage or something like that. They're like, I'll release him for Not forty this. million dollars. <laughs> or no, this guy's gonna charge thirty million to take a ride on his boat. This is a lovely ship. Indeed. And flies like the 
wind or the waves. Is she yours? She is. I look after her like a treasure. I want to buy her. <laughs> this beauty costs 50, 50 million. million dollars. I doubt you can afford it. Just 50 million. Here's the money. Oh, did I have 50 million so already? Oh, I thought I only had 30. Scrap is all yours. <laughs> Here's the key. And that's how I bought the ship I would finally escape in. But you escaped in a fucking helicopter. Uh, sorry, kid. No refunds. If only a lightning bolt didn't split her in two. Shit. Why are you giving me back the keys? I want my money back. <laughs> sorry. No refunds. Yeah, exactly. Shit. At least give me the money back, or the key back. No refunds. Fuck. Dump bodies into the water. Yeah, fuck you guys. Go back to the washroom real quick. Is there any reason I couldn't just sail my sub? Discord, the ever changing Discord of Discords. <laughs> Which I am the third owner of. Bequeathed to me by the man that. who it was bequeathed to. What did Adam Jensen say in Human Revolution? I never asked for this. <laughs> Nothing useful. I'm trying to keep it as something I'm working on, but at the same time, it's like... It's hard to find time. <laughs> I found ten million more dollars. Nothing useful. Sweet. You won't get all of my money back, but I'll at least get some of it back, maybe. Useless stuff. Yeah, useless stuff. 
Oh, there's a boss coming. <laughs> oh, it's a submarine. Oh, shit. That a nuclear submarine attacked you? That's what I'm saying. I see. It had and a beef now with you're me. Tell me you fought it instead of running away. Fuck yeah, I fought of it. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me without permission. Nobody fucking launches missiles at me. That's just rude. <laughs> rude. That's just rude. Create burning craters. Oh, that's neat. There were more containers. Maybe if I uh, offered it ten million dollars. Nothing useful. Useless. Save. I'll say it. Oh shit, wow, that fucking destroyed me. Okay, neat. Was that ten million dollars? <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that'll work a lot better. to roll this is definitely the hardest boss yet it's fucking wrecking me man Fuck. 
kept mistaking uh, B for the roll button for some fucking reason. Okay. I got this. I can do this. out of real estate. Okay. This makes a lot more sense to me now. better timing on my like my initial dodge You fucking submarine. Got it. Woo. All right, fuck Boss yeah. Defeated. Only took like seven I tries, but I got the hang of it. The platform collapsed after the ballistic abuse from all the missiles. Did you just sink one of my <laughs> submarines? Maybe. <laughs> ah, Said some rude shit you. to me. <laughs> Thank you for revealing your position. Uh oh, hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Fox, the comms. Here I am, lit. Robert. They're sending everything they have to the docks. What the hell did you do? I just sank a nuclear submarine. <laughs> That'll teach it not to launch its missiles at me. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Good thing it wasn't armed with nuclear warheads. They must be saving them for Operation Jericho. Speaking of nukes, hearing a lot of chatter that they're prepping there to the Omega building. Man, if you don't uh, stop them, back, there's going to be a worldwide bloodbath. 
I won't be stopping them. I killed the submarine. But who else will? I don't care, Robert. Right now, I, I don't, don't fucking to care, Robert. I'm a colonel to save the world. Right now, I just need to save my ass. And the moment I find anything, even a pull float, I'm getting the hell out of here. That'd be funny if the final escape option was just fucking swimming out into the ocean with a fucking pool noodle. Ah! go confusing fucking the B button with the Y button again. No, my coin! Hey, a coin! That's my money! <laughs> Can't help him. <laughs> Thank you, game, for refunding me some of my fucking. Kids, I appreciate it. Inside that hangar, I found what I was looking for. Boats I needed to escape. There was a Zodiac motorboat and a hovercraft. The Zodiac was the faster and more maneuverable choice in the water. So of course I took the other one. Hovercrafts were versatile and could pass over terrain where Zodiacs could not. Yeah, we're taking the fucking hovercraft. As I checked the hovercraft, I found out that. GSL or. The key to start the engine was missing. God damn it. As I checked the Zodiac, I found out that. Strength. The string to start the engine was missing. Oh. What if I offered what if I offered the hovercraft money? What if I offered it money? Got the hovercraft key. Thanks a lot, friend. Ref left or right to move, right trigger to shoot missiles. Versus the Black Thunder. <laughs> okay, here we go. I get you. I think this is the last thing I'm gonna do today. I gotta start getting ready for work here soon. takes to reload. Gotcha. Gotta lead my shots a little bit better. Like that. Not that. Or like 
There wasn't much chance. There wasn't much for me to do there. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Two boss fights, one after another. This was a good game. I'm just joking around. I fucking love this game. If this was a good game, this thunder, ah, named Black Thunder, would be by uh, being piloted by fucking uh, Brian Johnson from ACDC. Just as it starts to appear, you hear thunder. Boom, 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 boom. Johnson's just like, you've been thunderstruck! Jesse Fox, then we send you on a highway to hell! Fuck! God damn it! In my effort to not get hit by those bombs, I keep running right into the woods. Jesse Fox is insane. <laughs> See, he's got big mouths! Oh, uh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. Those bombs keep just pushing me right into the goddamn, uh... Oh, you know what? No, wait, I got full HP. One bomb brings me down to pretty much nothing, which is... Very, you know... I mean, it'd be realist, more realistic if it just killed me outright, but... It makes a lot of sense. Hovercraft isn't gonna take a whole lot of hits from a fucking helicopter. Okay, I think I'm getting a really good pattern here. Yeah. Boss defeated. <laughs> A thousand eyes are watching you. The confrontation with that chopper exhausted every drop of gas I had left. With no gas. The, the guitar solo makes you think of Bill and Ted. <laughs> Despite the dangers, I used my own arms to paddle forward. <laughs> Piranhas and crocodiles constantly tried to eat my hands. But I was lucky enough to make it to a small dock. You're certainly a lucky man, Mr. Fox. Look, I had nothing to do with it. I'm just a skilled fucking operative. I think this game makes just makes you go retro. Yeah. Uh, anyway.
Anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys all had a great time with this. I'm still loving this game. I feel like now that it's getting into the later parts of it, the fact that it has to have an actual cohesive story is making it a little bit more serious. We'll never have constrained these streams way better anyways. You son of a bitch. You're probably right, though. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Who do we got going, doing stuff right now? Oh, I was hanging out in Bent's stream a little bit ago. We can drop back in on him. Return him for the, uh, return the favor for the, <laughs> the raid that he <laughs> failed to, uh, yeah, I was in Bent's stream for a little bit. He raided me yesterday, like, literal seconds after I went offline. <laughs> well, now I'm pouring you back into his stream. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Probably with Fire Emblem. If I stream tomorrow. We'll see what happens. See ya.